Hello. In this video, I'm going to talk about what is perhaps one of the most uh, important reactions of enolates, and that are alkylation of enolates. Uh, as you've probably heard before, formation of new carbon-carbon bonds is one of the most important goals of organic chemistry, and so this is a, a way to do it. You take a ketone or an aldehyde, and I'll do some examples here in a moment, and treat it with uh, with a strong base like lithium diisopropyl amide, and then an appropriate, you know what, uh, it's important that generally these need to be primary uh, alkyl halides because we're talking about SN2 type reactions, you can get uh, alkylation at that alpha position. The mechanism here is really pretty straightforward. I'm abbreviating the diisopropyl groups on the uh, on LDA because they're big and this is faster. Uh, I'm drawing this particular uh, resonance contributor for the enolate. Uh, some, some people will draw the other one. Most enolates are nucleophilic at carbon, not at oxygen, though there are some reactions that are nucleophilic at X and R and bump. And this is an SN2 mechanism, so the SN2 reaction rides again, and then we have our, our alkylation product. Added some extra carbons. This is really straightforward. It works. Uh, it works on an aldehyde. So if we have like if we have like this aldehyde, you know, and we want to react it with. Uh, is sodium hydride, doesn't matter, pick base. And two, uh, we're going to react it with oh, benzyl chloride because that's what I want to do. And we can get this product out of that reaction. Uh, and so we'll really quickly I have built up the complexity of that molecule through something pretty simple and straightforward. You know, let's say now though that I had this ketone and I wanted to make this ketone by alkylating uh, another ketone and I'm going to use in my second step propyl bromide. So we're going to put this group on. This group in the box is what we're going to add. Right. So that means we can guess that the other component is going to be this other big old ketone here. And it's important now, since this ketone has two places where it can be deprotonated, two different enolates, that we need to choose the kinds of conditions that lead to the more substituted or thermodynamic enolate. And so those are sodium hydride and 20 degrees Celsius. If we had done all of this instead uh, of sodium hydride and 20 degrees Celsius, if we had done lithium diisopropyl amide at minus 78 degrees Celsius, we would have gotten alkylation at the less substituted position. One, two, three extra carbons here. And we'd get this ketone as the major product instead. So on uh, 
on unsaturated or on, on non-symmetric ketones, we have uh, two choices. And again, our choice of base, as I shared in the last video, matters greatly. One last sort of parting thought. If you have a carbonyl compound and it doesn't have any alpha hydrogens, and you wanted to do one of these alkylation reactions, or really honestly anything that involves an enolate, No reaction, because there's nothing to deprotonate. When we come back and talk about another important reaction of these compounds, the aldol reaction, uh, molecules like these are going to play an important role later on. So here we go. Uh, alkylation of aldehydes and ketones. And this actually works on esters as well. Um, and, and we can come back and talk about that. Uh, in another particular day, um, though I guess I'll just do one example because I'm feeling up to it. And I'm going to pick a, a particular ester because I, I have I have a secret motive here. Uh, because this this position is now sandwiched between uh, two carbonyl groups, it is significantly more acidic, which means that we can use a, a weaker base. Uh, and so you can use sodium ethoxide, and I've chosen sodium ethoxide because ethyl, it's, a, it's an ethyl ester, so that, that's intentional. And we can react it with whatever sort of carbon electrophile we want. And be protein and it, it, and it reacts here as well. So this is a reaction that also works on, on esters and it basically anything that has an alpha hydrogen that can be deprotonated. Right. So this concludes my video on, on carbonyl uh, enolate alkylation. Thank you for watching.